Announcements coming to the Louisville Airport, the Muhammad Ali International Airport, in hopes of accommodating the rush of travelers for the upcoming summertime travel season. Last year alone, the airport welcomed a record number of passengers to Louisville. WHAS 11's Jose Alonzo is live from the airport right now where he has been watching the crowd today and covering a news conference where he can tell us more about how they plan to handle a busy upcoming year. Jose? Doug, that's right. There's a lot of people at the airport right now, but as we know in this upcoming year, there's going to be a lot of tourists coming into the city as well. I mean, we all know about the Derby 150 and also the PGA Championship, but I did take the time today to speak with the executive director of the airport. That's Dan Mann, and he spent the time today highlighting multiple projects that were completed, but he also went on to reveal more upcoming projects that are going to be underway this year. This was the airport that I dreamed of because it had so many things going for it, so many opportunities uh, for growth and expansion. In 2023, the Muhammad Ali International Airport serviced just over four and a half million travelers, beating a record that was last set in 2019. Executive Director Dan Mann talked about what's to come in 2024, which includes a microgrid emergency power source, expanding the security checkpoint, and enhancing both the ticketing area and parking. It grows every year. Things get more expensive, but we're actually saying, hey, you know what? We got more capacity. We probably need to add a parking deck, um, $50 million for parking deck. The FIS, $40 million. So there's a lot of stuff um, that we're looking at to make this, uh, frankly, the best airport in, in the country. And so that's, that's what we have in mind as we start investing in our facilities. These enhancements and expansions will add to the $126 million they invested last year alone. And even though it may look like the airport is constantly under construction, it shouldn't make traveling any more difficult. We're working through this so there's minimal disruptions. The checkpoint, um, we've modified the checkpoint uh, while we do that, uh, that work behind the counter. When that's done, we'll have uh, three times as much queue for passengers at the checkpoint. Really important for Derby coming up, but also important for the FIS. And it's not just people going through Ali International. It's also the fifth busiest cargo airport in the world, thanks to UPS World Headquarters calling Louisville home. Very, very important for the economy. Very important for keeping our costs low so we can compete for more air service. But also it's, it's jobs. It's uh, the ability for people that work here to have disposable income to fly and fill up the planes when uh, we bring in new uh, air service. Now, the executive director did also mention that they're going to be working on these projects around the clock and that they soon hope to be adding international flights coming in and out of this city. Reporting live in Louisville, I'm Jose Alonso, WHS 11, on your side.